In this example, we, we did get you into 3D very, very quickly because the 3D polyline is going to become very, very significant. Let's say, for instance, we need to draw a little tab that came out here, a little profile, but it also had to have some type of thickness. Well, the best way to do this, and it all depends on how, on how you're wanting to, uh, to actually perform the function out here, uh, is using a 3D polyline. And we'll actually try doing a couple other things. But go ahead and do a draw 3D polyline. All right, and if we needed to start, say, at this midpoint, go ahead and just hold the shift key down, touch the right mouse button, select midpoint, and we're going to go to this midpoint. That's our first point. Now, remembering the left-handed rule of thumb here, we want to go in this direction, which in this case would be a negative y, right? So let's go ahead and type in an at, say, minus 3. That's, a, that's the x value, isn't it? So, see, already we would have made a mistake. So, you can type in a 0, comma, minus 3. Go ahead, do an enter. All right, and you can see it's a very, very small tab right in there. And the problem we're going to have here is that we are wanting to go straight up the y value or straight up the z value. With the 3D polyline, now you're able to type in an at 0, comma, 0, comma, and let's go ahead and make that 2. All right, now how do you know that the 2 is positive? Because, remember Mike's left-handed rule, that if your thumb is the positive x and your first finger is the positive y, the positive z will always be the arm direction. So if you move your hand uh, to accommodate the x and y, positive z is coming straight up. So we're going to go straight up in the z value. We do an enter, and you can see this little tab is actually drawn here. And now let's go ahead and type in an at, and now we're going to go in a positive direction in a y, all right, so we're going to say 0, comma, 3, and just do an enter, and we're going to click the right mouse button to end it for right now. Let's go ahead and zoom in. I'm just going to uh, window an area right in here, and I want you to see that, indeed, you have created this as a 3D object. If we used a normal polyline, a th uh, normal polyline. Select the shift button, touch the right mouse button. Let's select endpoint, and so we'll snap at this endpoint. And let's go ahead and type in at. We're going to say three comma zero. All right, three D X. Do an enter. And now let's try to see if we can go straight up two inches in the Z value, just like we tried typed in last time. Type in an at zero comma zero comma two. Do an enter. Notice what happens down in the bottom. Move, move your eyes down here. Look at this. It says a 2D point or option keyword is required. You cannot draw 3D elements using a polyline. You have to go through a 3D polyline. Now touch the right mouse button to end this command here. The only exception to this is if you type in L for line or you just go ahead and select the line command. All right. If we say, let's go ahead and snap at this endpoint. And now we try typing in at 0, comma, 0, comma, 2. And we do an enter. Notice how that line does indeed go up in the Z value. Now, the bad news about this is if we do an erase, is that obviously this is all one element. Just like the single polyline segment is also one. But the beauty of using a 3D polyline is that if I go ahead and do a copy command, and I select a polyline, just like every other polyline you had before, all three of these segments are one element. So if I touch the right mouse button, and I say, I want to copy it from this endpoint, and now I go ahead and type in an at, and again, you're going to go positive. I say positive 3 in the x, comma 0 in a y. Go ahead and do an enter. There is my tab, and now all I have to do is draw the connecting elements right in here. So the idea of using a 3D polyline is that it's one of the quickest ways of drawing wireframe. When, and later on, you'll see some examples of using a 3D polyline for revolving a surface or a solid.